I've got to find Raymond. Maybe he's home by now. All right, darling, whatever you want. But first, I have something to tell you. You know what I was doing when you so cleverly had the police call me? Don't bother trying to guess. You're too tired. I'll tell you what I was doing. After I dropped you off, I went straight home. And when I got upstairs... Apartment 3B. That's right. Very good. Before I even took my coat off, I telephoned my fiancé. Well, I told you I wasn't married. I never said I wasn't engaged. Well, I called up my fiancé, and he came over as soon as he could, which was instantly, and I told him I had just met you, and I gave him his ring back. I tried to convey my regrets for whatever pain I might be causing him, and then, just then, you at the police called to invite me to meet you at the 24th precinct. So I grabbed my coat, kissed my fiancé in the cheek for the last time in our lives we would ever kiss, and I ran. At the police station, they told me you had just beaten up a very large Chinese gentleman. Not Chinese, dear. Korean. At least I think he was Korean. A very large Korean gentleman. But that you were a pretty solid type yourself, according to Washington, with whom they had apparently checked. So I figured if they were willing to go to all the trouble to get a comment on you out of George Washington, why, well, you must be somebody very important indeed. And I must say it was rather sweet of the general with you only a major. I didn't even know you knew him. They were the tiniest bit puzzled about you. They could have asked me. Oh, yes, indeed, my darling Ben. They could have asked me. And I would have told them. 